Tonight's region is Marke. In these tough and depressing pandemic times, when we are only allowed to leave our houses if we are out of toilet paper, the best alternative to travel without abandoning your fortress is wine. So sit back, relax and join me on 20 Italian wine regions with Core Breaker. Let's go! Remember when I talked about Emilia Romana and its beaches in the Rimini? I am curious guy. And Rimini is the number one vacation destination for most Italians. Well, probably... Marche is also in that top list. And I never even heard about it. Shame. Shame. Of course, blame it on me or maybe blame a bit on our education system that they don't teach about all 20 Italian wine regions at school. So it is a wine region in central Italy bordering with Emilia Romana to the north, Abruzzo to the south and Apennine Mountains separated from Umbria to the west. All of the regions east is refreshed by the Adriatic Sea. The region has more than perfect conditions to grow the grapes. We have rolling hills with small medieval villages which is a huge advantage for wine tourism and to cool off in the hot summers we have warm breezes from the Adriatic Sea and local rivers. There are warm and cool climates so we will see bottled red and white wines and the soil differs but mainly are rich in calcareous clay and limestone. Even though most of the produced wine enters the market as Vino di Tavola or EGT Marche, 20% is sold under the higher quality standard from regions 15 DOCs and 4 DOCGs, which is not that good compared to 40% of Piedmont, but much better compared to 5% of Sicily or Calabria. Not bad. Not bad, but not good. Yeah. Region is best known for white wine, and here on the stage are two rock stars. Well, more like a rock star Verdicchio and its basis Trebbiano. Marche is a home for the Verdicchio for more than 600 years, and the finest expressions of this crisp, lively wine comes from two diocesis: Verdicchio de Castelli di Iesi and Verdicchio di Matelica. Among the red wines, finest are made from surprise, 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 Montepulciano and. Sangiovese grapes, the duo from central Italy. They both are in the mix of Rosso Conero Reserva di OCG, at least 85% must be Montepulciano, making powerful, firm and tannic red wine with intense aromas of black cherries and Mediterranean herbs. Last on my list is Vernaccia Nera, which is genetically identical to Grenache and is used in the sweet or dry sparkling red DOCG wine of Vernaccia di Serra Petrona. Let's see the region attractions. Good. First of all, I have to say that I will skip the beaches. Oh no 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 way! Yes, I had it on my list at first, but when I started to do my research, this region has much more to offer than I can take. So the first stop is the temple of Valadia, near the Frassassi Caves. Normally I would lean on Frassassi Caves, because this guy is not the biggest fan of churches. Are you the devil? But this octagonal masterpiece is too good example of the collaboration of men and nature to miss out. Next up, Urbino. I have a few spare euros in my pocket and knowing that real estate is pretty cheap in those Italian old towns, I would like to walk around and search for my summer apartments. <laughs> a medieval renaissance town on the hilltop approved by UNESCO World Heritage Site. Nothing more to say. Lastly, back to nature with Furlo Pass, or in Italian Gola del Furlo. Green fields, rocky cliffs, intense forests and rare birds. Perfect place to put on those dusty pre-pandemic hiking shoes. And if it's not enough for the desert, deep green waters of Candigliano River. The wine of the region is... Pelago 2016 by Umani Ronci. It all started in 1950s when Gino Umani Ronci set up a small farm in the Marche region at Cupra Montana. But a few years later, the farm was taken by present owners Bianchi Bernetti family and brought the new energy to the estate, production, and commercial activities. After lots of work with reconstructions, expanding the winery, and spreading the word about their wine out of the country, led by the 
Siamo Bernetti. Now it is the solid 210 hectare winery in Marche and Abruzzo wine regions. In 1994, with a collaboration with Giacomo Takis, the creator of Solaya and Sassicaia, the Pelago wine was born and just after three years it won best red wine trophy at the International Wine Challenge. This wine comes from Conero, southeast facing hillsides up to 150 meters above sea level. It is a combination of Montepulciano, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot aged in barrique for a minimum of 14 months. Let's taste it. It has a medium uh, intensity cherry color in the nose medium plus intensity aromas of black currant, black pepper, coffee, licorice and tobacco. Mouth has medium acidity, medium plus alcohol and already mature tannins. On the palate, taste of bitter and smoked chocolate. At first I wanted to choose white wine to represent the region but the curiosity of tasting Super Marquet wine convinced me to stick to this wine. Let me know in the comments if you ever tried wine from this region. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow on Instagram. Salute!